I'm Hugh Judd, I'm Food Service Project Manager for Eblex. I'm responsible for all areas of food service, from hospitals, prisons, schools, at one end, up to working with the top Michelin star restaurants at the other and everything in between. Uh, this is our fourth day here at Sira, and um, I'm cooking the steaks that Martin has been butchering up, and here, I've got a couple of what we would call ribeyes that the French call l'entrecot and these are a couple of excellent examples of English uh, ribeyes and what I need to do first is to make sure I'm cook get these up to room temperature so they've been out here resting for a little while getting up to room temperature they're now ready for me to start preparing now what I do with my steaks is that I'll take a little drop of oil on a, on a pan and a bit of pepper a bit of salt directly there and I will take my steak and I gently massage in the salt and the pepper now what this does is it gets a nice even coating of the salt, pepper and oil. I don't oil my grill or oil my pan, I always oil the meat with a light seasoning. I can always re-season or indeed if the customer wants they can add more seasoning but I don't want to go over the top. There's nothing worse than lots of flavour of burnt pepper masking the flavour of the steak. I'll then put that straight onto my grill and my grill is red hot. The most important thing about uh, cooking steaks is you make sure that goes onto a, a red hot surface. No good cooking a lukewarm surface, you'll end up with a mushy, not particularly pleasant steak. Put this on here, what I'm doing is I'm sealing the outside of the steak. I'm making sure all those juices are sealed in. And you sometimes see people with a fork busily turning over. As you can imagine, I'm just sealing in these juices. If I now take a fork, stick it in there, all the juices actually come out and you'll end up with a slightly dry state. So the way I do is I use a pair of ordinary tongs and I can turn this steak round. I'm now going to show you a steak that I prepared earlier and here's a customer who's willing to come and try one of the steaks. What I've done with these is when I took them off the grill, very importantly I let them rest. Another tip is to use a little bit of butter which I put on top of the steak and when it's resting the butter seeps through and just gives it that extra richness rather than necessarily cooking it in the butter. This is what we call a sirloin cannon. In French it's a faux filet and this I cooked, it's rested and you'll see now how nice and firm this steak is but it's still very much to French taste. Now you can see how perfect that steak is cooked, it's even and if I'd wanted to I could cook that longer but for this particular show the French do like their steak a little bit rarer than perhaps we do in the UK. This particular steak, this faux filet, eats beautifully, particularly cooked as it is here. So there we are, perfectly cooked, um, cannon of sirloin or faux filet mm. en français.